In Bright Falls, I was constantly under attack by birds that were more shadow than flesh and feathers. But this is an evolution. Some of the Taken were actually capable of turning into a flock of birds to escape my attacks and turning back into human form to make surprise attacks. I don't make friends easily. I know plenty of people, but I don't let most of them close. I've known Barry Wheeler ever since we were little boys. We had the time of our lives. I'd get us in trouble, and he'd talk us out of it. Things haven't changed that much now that we're grown-ups. He's the most loyal and dependable person I've ever met, and all the things that count anyway. You could call him a weasel, and you wouldn't be entirely wrong. You could call him a clown, and I would reluctantly agree. But he has never let me down. I'm trapped in the darkness. He has started appearing to me. Mr. Sk he can travel back into the world effortlessly, and he loves to rub my face in it. At first, he was just an echo in the darkness, a flicker beyond the edge of my vision. Now he started showing himself, getting bolder all the time, telling me what a great time he's having in the world while I'm stuck here, and what he plans to do, especially to Alice. All the moves I have left are dangerous and desperate. I have no choice. I have to hunt him. Emma? You here? Wow, it is you. I, I guess all of it really happened. You remember me? Kind of. I felt weird all day, like I could almost remember a dream I had. And then, just before sunset, I remembered the page. Yeah. I'm going to have to go get those things again. Not all of them. I, I went out and got them. Well, most of them. I felt stupid at first, but then it was getting dark, and those, those things started showing up, and one of them made off with the battery. It ran into the railroad tunnel. There was no way I was going to follow him in there. Sorry. It's good you didn't. You should be careful. I mean, really careful. Yeah, I, I kind of remember something. Something bad happened to me, didn't it? Forget it. It doesn't have to happen again, okay? Just do what I say. Yeah, okay. God, this is too weird. Am I going crazy here? Just go get that battery. As history repeats itself, the man remembers the patterns. 
he knows that he needs the missing part for the telescope. Now Night Springs is in Arizona, although not for long. It's in Arizona because whatever the town that has become Night Springs is really called is located near one of the thin, worn places in the world where dreams and reality flow together and life is always a little strange. Perfect analogy for Night Springs. I can't return to the real world. I've tried, but I'm operating on dream logic, forcing the door open a crack so I can slip through. I can enter the strange little town of Night Springs. All I did was put in in Arizona for one night. The atmosphere in the projection booth at the drive-in was charged, almost unreal. Despite that, the air felt cool and refreshing this late at night. It'd been a hot day. The summer was nearing its end, but it wasn't over yet. There are places where our world is worn thin, and another reality brushes against ours. One such site is Cauldron Lake near Bright Falls, Washington. But there are others. That other reality is dark, vast, and malleable, always in flux. In its depths dwell vast forces and alien energies. They're dangerous. But in one of these places, if you know how, you can channel the power of that place and use it to shape reality. The darkness rose from the depths of Cauldron Lake and took Alice. It needed words. It needed me to write its way into our world. She was leverage, a hostage. I complied, but with a twist. I put in a loophole that gave me a chance to fight back. I was hunted by shadowy enemies, but I faced the darkness. I fought it with light. I drove it back. I saved Alice, but it came with a cost. I was trapped in the dark place below Cauldron Lake. Thank you. 
Stories come naturally to us. We can't help it. There are many different worlds, many competing realities within our heads, fueled by books, television, even barely remembered childhood tales. There's an endless supply of fictional concepts more familiar to us than anything or anyone real. We have a far greater connection to the fictional characters we know and love than the random people we pass on the street. Our destinies and inspirations are shaped by lies, myths, and fables. It's you! How dare you! No, wait. It isn't you, is it? I... I suppose you'd better come in. I'll... I'll unlock the door. Thanks! I know what you're thinking. Evil twin, supernatural powers. But most of the time, I just like to keep things basic. I want you to understand that. Like this. Need to get your hands dirty? No batteries, no moving parts, just physics. That's technology you can depend on. It's a classic. Speaking of classics, you need to be careful with this one, though. If the victim suddenly twists, you might end up cutting yourself. It's not really a workhorse, but I'm a sucker for this style. Now this is more like it. You've got slip-resistant grip. Believe me, you really want that traction once you're wrist deep in somebody. The blade's stiff enough so it won't open by accident in your pocket, but it's still really easy to open with just one hand. Now that's a big thing for me. I know what you're thinking. It's too big, too heavy. But sometimes you just need the extra oomph. If you're talking intimidation, this is going to do the job. Also great for dismemberings and whatnot. You know, the messy jobs. Ah, I can't tell you how many things I've MacGyvered with this stuff. Okay, now, guns. Not a big fan. I mean, how are you supposed to really connect with somebody with a bullet? I want you to understand that. I take pride in what I do. We can't both be worthless hacks, can we? You'll have to forgive me, but this feels very strange. It seems like this has all happened before. I have the replacement part for your telescope, Doctor. I... all right. Uh, let's get it installed. Problem with the cooling system. Yes, that's right. I remember. All right, let me think. If they're sabotaging it, they'll be at the primary coolant pipe outside. If you can secure it, we should be ready to pick up the signal. That is why you're here, isn't it? Yes, it is. I'll take care of it. Before you go, if you have the time, I'd appreciate if you came up here and explained a few things. All of this is very strange to me. The Taken may well be the tool the darkness favors over any other. At some point, 
They used to be human, but whatever humanity they once had is long gone. Now they're just shells covered and filled by darkness. The taken Mr. <laughs> throws at me are more grotesque and varied than the ones I first encountered in Bright Falls. But I know how to deal with them. I'd be lying if I said they don't frighten me. But I've survived worse. I can't let them stop me. Am I correct? You should be able to turn on the lights and secure the area that way. Doctor, can you hear me? I think we're good to go. All right. I'll start looking for the signal. Please, head back.
find the signal? Yes. I don't think it's quite the same thing we had um, the last time. Still, we're definitely picking it up. Are we getting the complete signal now? I'm afraid not. Take a look at it yourself. I'm printing out a hard copy now. I'd like to ask you a question or two before that, though, if you don't mind. Another printout. Another signal fragment. The message is still not complete, but it's another piece of the weapon he has built against his adversary. Mere words on a piece of paper, but in the right hands, they will hold back the darkness. The last time the man came to the drive-in, it did not end well. He hopes to avoid that fate this time. He hopes that what he has brought with him to this place is enough. 